Hey, this is Bobby with High Noon Hunter Leather Works, and I'm making this video to show people how they can form fit the release to a release holster that I make. And uh, some people express concerns that they might not be able to do it, that it'd be too hard. But uh, first thing I do is I take your measurements, and when you get your holster, it'll just be like this, kind of flat as a pancake. So uh, the first thing you need to do if you don't want your release to get wet because I've wrapped my release with uh, saran wrap and then I have already popped my release open or my pouch open and I have filled it full of water and I've dumped it out and I've let it set for about five minutes so now I'm going to do that again just as to demonstrate to you what you have to do but if you get your pouch wet if water runs down it, don't rub it because if I have used acrylic uh, dial on it, you may rub a light spot in it or rub it off. Usually after it dries, it's pretty hard to rub it off, but uh, uh, just pat it with a paper towel, but the leather will probably soak it up about as fast as it runs down. So I'm going to show you. Let me put my camera down here. So I'm just going to pop it open and lean it backwards and just fill it up with water to the top and then I'm simply just going to dump it back out. So once I dump that out, I'm going to, what you should do is <laughs> uh, let it drip until you don't see any liquid water on the inside. But for purpose of doing this video quicker, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my release in mine. So your measurements for your release I took for your barrel thumb button to be in the full up position. So this is a little B3 Exit Pro and the hook has to be closed before the thumb barrel can be all the way up because you want your thumb barrel to sit right on this back right on the edge like that now you can if you want you can turn it the other way it just for me it would make it backwards about pulling it out and this little U notch here I kind of have to do these universal selling these online without actually having a release on hand but as you can see it's still enough room to Put your finger there and pull your release out of your holster. So once you get your release positioned in there, then all you got to do is start pressing around it. Just try to get every little form, nook and cranny of the shape of the release pressed into this um, into the leather until you can see I'm kind of getting an imprint of my release in the leather now. But if you want to do this in the morning, maybe get up half hour early and do this in the morning, press around on it until you get ready to go to work. Or if you get home from work in the evening and you want to do this while you're sitting watching TV, you can just press around on it and try to get it to take a good shape but like I say it's not hard to do you just need to try to get as much detail of the shape of your release into the leather that you can and but once you get enough detail in it that you're satisfied with it uh, just lay it somewhere while you're going to work leave your release in it and let it dry some while you're going to work. It won't completely dry in the first day. Or when you go to bed, do this before you go to bed, let it dry till the next day. So after about 8 or 12 hours the next day, or when you get home from work, ever how you do it, uh, take your release out and let it dry another 24 hours without your release in it. Once you pull your release out though, don't put it back down in there until it dries for 
enough for another day at least and uh but you can kind of if you have a window you can set it up in or lay it in your car seat while you're in work don't use a hair dryer or anything and try to dry it out but just uh lay it in the sun in a window or lay it in your car seat or something and it'll dry faster but that's all you do to it and i appreciate you if you have ordered one from me or if you're a potential buyer i appreciate it thanks <laughs>